Okay, so um, Windows 8 has a new start menu. I'm just going to give you um, a quick run through um, some of the changes. Um, first of all, you'll realize that the tiles, uh, one of the first things you can do is you can grab and pull them around. So you just um, hold your left click um, and you can just drag them around and they sort of slot together quite nicely anyway. Uh, one thing you'll notice you can't do is you can't just uh, drop stuff where you want it to. It's sort of tied to certain positions. Um, so another thing you're going to notice also is that some are, are double sized um, you can make them larger or smaller. Um, not all of them can be larger, it depends if the, um, the application has actually got the template to do so. Uh, so travel here, I can right click on it um, and then I've got smaller. So if I press smaller it's going to go to a small one. I'll pop music up there and games and I might want to make the weather smaller as well. Um, and then you can fit more in one space and you can make the bigger ones a few more important stuff. Um, another one, whilst we're still here, are live tiles. You will notice that some of them actually display information on the live tiles. Um, some have the ability to do this, some others don't. If you want to turn this information off, you uh, just right click on the live tiles and you can press turn live tile off. Um, it's going to turn it off and just make it a, a, standard, um, a standard application there. Um, sometimes you're going to be able to add them, add them in as well. Um, if you want to make your own ones, um, if you go to all applications, you can pin uh, sort of any of these um, to the task, uh, sorry, to the start menu. By pinning to the start menu, um, it's then going to be here, and you can um, you can do what you like with it as before. You can also pin websites to it. So we just open up Internet Explorer. Um, I'm on my website here. Um, if you hover down the bottom, uh, right click, and then you can press the pin button. Uh, so pin to start, and I can pin it. And then when I go back to my start menu, I can see here I have my website pinned to the start menu. Um, one other thing you might want to do is um, customize your start menu and the look and feel of the start menu. So if you hover your, um, your mouse down the bottom right here, you can go to settings, and then you've got change PC settings, and then you have personalize. Um, so it's going to be your lock screen. Um, so I can change the lock screen to uh, whatever I like. Um, but what we were playing with a moment ago was the start screen. So you can change the color of the start screen. Um, we can have it whatever we like. Uh, let's just choose something dark. And then we can also choose uh, new themes here. Um, some some built-in ones that they Microsoft have given us. So if I just choose this one, and then I can um, go back to the start menu, and you can see uh, the look and feel has changed drastically. And you can change it for different users. Uh, so different users have different colors, um, and that sort of thing. Um, so I hope it's been um, informative and useful for you. Um, if you like my videos, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.